Hi there, in this Quick Tips video series, we're going to cover some of the bare basics to do with devices and preferences. Two very different things. In this first video, I wanna show you some very simple settings and they're some of my favorite settings for simply recording an acoustic guitar track. If you experience some kind of delay from when you play the instrument and you hear the sound in your headphones, then it's likely you're suffering from latency. So the first thing I would do when recording a vocal or an electric guitar or some instrument is to go in and check my buffer settings. We do that by going to Devices, go down to Device Setup, select VST Audio System on the left-hand side and make sure the device you want to use is ticked. Now we go to the left-hand side and select the device, go up to the Control Panel, and we've got the buffer size. Now the lower the buffer size, the less latency you'll experience. So try dropping that back to the lowest possible setting. It's worth noting that if you experience any performance issues, you might need to increase that buffer size. I've added a mono audio track for my acoustic guitar track, and now I'm just quickly going to double check my connections. So I'm going to Devices, VST Connections, and I can see that my output routing is right and my input routing is right. My acoustic guitar is plugged into the UR22 input 1, which is the left stereo in. I can hear my acoustic guitar once I select the monitor button. The next section of this video focuses very heavily on how we monitor our performance and also how we monitor what we've recorded. At the moment, I can hear what I'm playing because the monitor button is selected, but when I play it back, I need to take it off to hear what I've recorded. In short, when the monitor's on, I can hear what I'm playing. When it's off, I can hear what I've recorded. I can change the monitor setting by going to the preference panel and selecting VST and changing it from manual to while record enabled. If I click on the button with the circle, I record enable my track and immediately the monitor has also been selected. So I can hear what I'm playing and also what's been recorded into the software. Now when I go back and hit play, I can't actually hear what I've just recorded until I take the record enable button off or the monitor button off. I'd suggest this kind of preference setting is more applicable for say a studio where you can record enable on a console very easily and you might want to have a discussion in the control room about the take that was just recorded. Now let's go down to while record running. This is also another useful setting because it means that once we've record enabled the channel, We'll only monitor it when we hit the record button. Once again, a great setting for studios where you might need to hit stop and discuss the take with the producer or say the rest of the band. In this mode, activity monitor is turned off as soon as we hit stop or play. So we're only hearing the recorded performance. There are different preference settings for different scenarios. So I might use while record running if I'm mixing and I don't need to hear any input channels, but my go-to preference setting for recording is tape machine style. And this is because the instrument is always in monitor mode unless we're playing the recording back. So even when I hit stop, I can still monitor or hear what the performer's playing. I like the setting because it's less mouse clicks. As soon as I hit play, I can hear exactly what was recorded. So I'm not clicking constantly to try and monitor or record and enable a track. There's more preference and device tips in the very next video, so don't go anywhere. I'll see you there.